Hello youth of Africa. Bonjour. Wantiko Hyoho here again. How are we doing? I believe most of us and most of our cities are no longer on lockdown and therefore we can move freely from city to city. Anyway, we're going to continue with our topic on money and today I'll be sharing some of my life's ups and downs, especially in employment. Now, of course, before I began business, I was in employment. And even when I've been in business, um, in other cases and in other instances, rather, I've been employed to offer services in certain organizations. And therefore, I would say, in though offering services from my business, it's still a sort of employment in a way. Now, when I finished high school, or rather when I cleared my high school, I worked in a small cyber cafe that belonged to my father. In that cyber cafe, we used to do printing and photocopying services. But then later, I realized that I could add another service, which was selling milk. Therefore, I would bring milk very early in the morning and sell to my customers who would buy milk to go, you know, make breakfast and so on. Later on, I was to add, you know, I, I, I was to add yogurt and these two were very good because they enhanced the printing and photocopying business. Why am I beginning there? Because I want to show you my journey um, since the time I started being employed and in business. Then after a while, of course, that cyber cafe was closed for my entrance to the university. And after university, I started again hooking tomato sauce. I would prepare tomato sauce from home and then I would hook it to hotels and so on. Then I was to later leave the tomato sauce business and then started being employed again in an online writing cafe where I was employed to write, you know, the online writing jobs where you write pages and pages every single day. After that, I left and went to Kinogob to work as a teacher. After that, I was employed by the Teacher Service Commission only to leave after some few months and went abroad to learn Mandarin Chinese. Then I was to come back and after that and was employed in one of the public universities in Kenya as a Mandarin Chinese teacher. Now, in all these places, because there are more than I'm just mentioning, there's one thing that is common with all the places of employment I've ever been. Now, whenever I think about these places, I tend to get a little bit emotional because there's one common factor that that, that that unifies all these places of employment. One, it's either I was paid very little or some people refused to, play, to pay me entirely. Some employers could not pay me entirely or others would really find it very difficult to pay me. It was, it's like an uphill task to pay me for my services. Yet I've already given my services and so on. Well, most of these employers would be excited that I had given my best, but then when it comes to employ, you know, to payment or to paying me my salary, it becomes very tough. Now, what do I want to say, youth of Africa? Do not allow anybody to devalue you. Say no to every employer or anybody who is trying to look down on you. Over the years, Many people have looked down on me and I'm sharing this so that you learn a lesson from me. Many people have looked down on me. Many people have refused to pay me of the value I'm, I'm giving them. Now, this is what I want to say. Youths, sometimes when we are starting out, we feel we can give our services for free. We feel that, the, you know, that we can allow anyone to pay us little money because we are starting out and we want to you know we want to to brand ourselves and be known and therefore it ceases to be giving back because i want you to get the difference there's giving back which is good you can give a service for free because you're giving it back to the society but there is also being giving something or giving a service for free 
just because you want to get noticed or you want to feel at least you're working and so on and so forth. But I want to say, do not let anybody devalue you. Now, are you an expert in your field? Is there something you have trained and you have become very good at it? Um, do you have a talent or a gift? If you fall in this, then you need to show people your value. And when you value what you give, people will consequently value you. And this, of course, requires us to have a change of mind. It requires a mind shift, sort of a paradigm shift in our minds and in our hearts so that we get to know that we are of value. We get to know we are precious and the things or the giftings and the talents that the Lord has put in us are special that we cannot just afford to to throw them out you know out there for people to 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 step on them and to treat us the way that that we that they want now i want you to think of the think of a fruit a, a fruit on a tree now one thing that is so clear if this is an apple tree it can only produce apple fruits right now there's no way an apple an apple tree can produce oranges and that that's a fact now if you would want oranges you no longer want apples you want oranges then you would have to change the seed you'd have to plant a seed of an orange that will become an orange or an orange tree and rather also you'd have to change the roots because for a tree to blossom there, there is the seed that was put in the ground and of course it starts coming forth of its fruit and what so what do I want to say in this if you want to see people valuing you differently then you have to change the fruits if the fruits have not been good fruits and they've been fruits that you don't like to see then you need to change the roots you know and as well like change the whole seed and so youth of Africa let us not allow anybody to devalue us like i have for many years allowed people to devalue me people to not pay me for my value people to not pay me for who i've become an expert in my field and i have ne not known for very many years my value and even my value when it comes to money and how i should charge people of the service that i offer them and therefore I want to say that I'm going to continue with this topic to help us understand how we, 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 we make people know that we are who we are and we are experts in our fields and what we offer is of great value. And therefore, when you offer a service, somebody should equally pay you better and pay you very well for the service that you're giving them. I want to end by giving us the words from the Bible, 2 Timothy chapter 1. Verse 7 says, For God hasn't given us a spirit of timidity, but of power, love, and self-control. Therefore, nobody should devalue us. Again, First Timothy chapter 4, verse 12 says, Don't let anyone think less, think less of you because you are young. Don't let anybody look down on you because you're a young person or you are a startup you are starting something or a business and then somebody thinks they will look down on you. Know yourself. Know your value. Know what you're worth. Know the service that you're giving or the goods that you're going to sell. How much do they cost? And cost them as they should. Don't reduce the value of, of your service or your good just because you're fearing what people will say about you. I hope you have learned something. Bye-bye. Thank you.